them, you eat the ex <laughs> you eat the external part as well. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Sheen. And today we have, as the title has already told you, we're gonna go through what's in my bag. So this bag, as you can see, is struggling to close. That's because I carry quite a lot of stuff around with me. And this is not my work bag, this is my everyday bag. Because for work, I need to carry my laptop, my charger, my notepad, and that's just a bigger bag, right? We're not gonna get into it. But on a day-to-day -day basis, when I'm going out, um, wherever I'm going, I usually like to carry this size of bag. I feel like everything gets into it, all the necessities as we're gonna go through. <laughs> um, but yeah, so how about I'll show you what's in there. So if I'm not mistaken, this is called the Sofia Duo Proco, and um, I think it's around nine inches. What I love about Teddy Blake and their bags is the fact that these are made by genuine Italian designers using premium Italian leather. It feels so luxurious and it even smells like real leather. And they are made by experienced craftsmen in the same Italian factories as those of the luxurious brands. But here they're trying to keep the price point to an affordable level. And they're truly made in Italy and honestly feel so luxurious. I genuinely love these. I strongly recommend you to check out their link. It's in the description box below. It's just so compact, so beautiful, and I love the color. Uh, I really like this color because I feel like it really contrasts with any kind of like items that I'm wearing. Um, but yeah, so this is the bag. I got it and literally I've been using it every day since. I just love it. It's so soft to touch as well and everything fits in really nicely. I have another bag that's a little bit smaller um, so my water bottles and stuff don't fit in it. So I'm really glad about the upgrade to this and yeah, so the chain is really nice as well. Um, I will show you up close what the bag looks like but basically you can either so we have a long handle and I usually wear it crossbody um, or you can double up the chain and you can wear it on the side and it's just really really nice. Um, honestly nothing bad to say, um, it doesn't hurt when it rubs against your body and stuff like some of the bags have very bulky chains and they usually hurt me um, but this is really nice and refined, I love it. So let's get into what's inside, shall we? So to give you an up close, as I said, the bag is completely full. As you can see, right to the top, we have lots of stuff happening. So let's get into it. First things first is what I keep at the top is my sunglasses. So these are new. I got these new Ray-Bans because, you know, I'm in a hot country now. They are, I love them, honestly. A little bit funky. Let me know what you think. Most people don't agree with me that they look nice, but I think they're pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so sunglasses because Dubai, sunny weather, definitely need these. So they stay at the top of my bag because as soon as I go out, that's the first thing I grab. Um, my phone is quite chunky, so and it's always in my hand, so it very rarely goes into the bag, so it's not in there. And in terms of wallet as well, my wallet is massive. Um, it's a Gucci wallet from my sister. Um, oh, it's actually red as well, matches. But it's too chunky. If it goes in there, a lot of important items like snacks won't fit in. Um, so I have a mini wallet in there, which we're gonna get to. Okay, I have this tiny water bottle. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Um, in Dubai here, you get all of these like little tiny bottles. And this is a good size because it fits into my tiny bag. And I always like to carry water with me especially when it's hot outside, it's really good to have like an emergency one. And I don't like to carry anything in my hand. You know, like some people carry a bag and then they have a water bottle that they carry outside. I don't like that. So I need something in there. So this is my little water bomb help that's in there. Um, and then the next thing is, again, very relevant to Dubai, sunscreen. So I have this La Roche-Posay 50 plus sunscreen. I never used to carry sunscreen with me because I put it on in the morning anyway. Um, but now for some reason, I think it's because the sun here is so harsh, my nose starts to like 
peel a bit and I guess that's because that's the prominent part of my face I don't know but I usually carry some sunscreen and this one is like quite thin so it easily fits in there and I really like this because it's like it's very liquidy and it doesn't do the purple kind of thing that you usually see like paste on your face so this is really good okay I guess some like COVID related stuff I always carry an extra mask in there um, it's kind of changing color. I should probably replace it. And then I have hand sanitizer, of course. Um, so this one is a heavenly pomegranate. I got it from Carrefour downstairs. It smells really nice. And um, that's the main reason I got it. But it's always good to carry one, especially because I use taxis a lot. So every time I get in, I need to like... Uh, so that's COVID. And then as I was mentioning, I have a tiny wallet. So this has like all my important stuff in it. Um, so this is from Tommy Hilfiger. It's pink, obviously. Um, so I have all of my bank cards, my building access card, my work access card, my ID. So just the important stuff because I cannot carry this. So transformed it into this. And then, oh, I keep some cash in the pocket because so i hate carrying cash because i think money first of all is unsanitary and i hate having to carry change around um, but because sometimes i've had some issues with the taxis here where the card machine is not working and then they get upset at me for not having cash or you know sometimes you just need to tip something and you can't tip with a card so i've learned to carry some cash around and i have a little pocket at the back of the bag where i just put that in and I have a Metro card that I've literally only used once when I went to Expo with Esteban a while ago. Um, I think there's still money in there. I don't even know how to top up or how much it costs for one ride, but I should definitely look into this. Um, Metro card. And then, well, while we are on sanitary stuff, I guess, I also have some tissues. Always, always needed. I... I have like al allergic reactions to dust sometimes, so I will just start sneezing. And obviously in COVID time, you don't want to like scare people. So I always carry a little pack of tissues. This one is almost empty, but a little pack of tissues. And of course we have a pad. Let's not be weird about this. Period is not taboo. Um, so yeah, I have a little pad in there. And then, oh my God, <laughs> I forgot I even have this. So. Some precious band-aids. You know the number of times I've tried to break in a new shoe and I'm walking around and just in absolute pain, right? Uh, because the strap is hurting me or the back of the ankle is like rubbing against it. Always, right? And you never know when you have a cut. I am very clumsy. I always have random cuts that appear. So band-aids. What else? Uh, okay. Then I have a little perfume. So you know these little samples that you get, especially from Sephora, when you order anything, they give you like free samples of stuff. And this one is an Hermes Eau de Parfum. It's called Twilly. Let's see. Mm, smells nice. Oh, very fruity. Um, but yeah, I always carry one in my bag just in case, because you know, sweaty country. Um, I have a trusted headband, um, so I do always go out with my hair loose most of the time. Uh, but then sometimes it gets hot or sometimes I need to do like some form of activity. I say that like a, I'm a very active person, but sometimes you just need your hair out of the way. And that's when it comes into play. Um, this is really cute. I think it's from Access Rise in the UK. I'm pretty sure I bought that a very long time ago. Barely used it, but here we go. Um, and then the weird stuff are gonna start coming out now. Okay, I have a lip balm. Um, so I don't use fancy lip balms or the pretty ones. I use very medical grade lip balm. So this is um, Flexitol, ultra moisturizing lip balm, visible results in one day. At some point I just had like the corner of my lips just peeling really badly. Um, so then the pharmacist recommended this. It's really ugly to look at and the color is weird the texture is weird but it does the job so this is what i carry and of course lip balms are always tiny so that's very convenient um of course my trusted airpods always need them i actually left the house once and forgot my airpods at home 
while I was walking downstairs to get the taxi and I was like, oh no, my drive is 10 minutes. What am I gonna do for 10 minutes? So I went back and I was late, but I went back for the AirPods dedication. And then, <laughs> oh, I have my Kindle. So yeah, my Kindle always stays in there. Doesn't really come out a lot, <laughs> but it's always in there because sometimes I just end up at the mall and going to the coffee shops in between and just chilling on my own. Um, but usually when I'm chilling on my own, I either call someone or I start brainstorming things for the YouTube channel or just in general about life and thinking about what to do. Um, but then sometimes I want to switch off. So then I do carry the Kindle for that. And sometimes I just end up at the beach and I just want to read a good book. And obviously a book will not fit in my bag. So the Kindle is very, very handy. And what do we have? Okay, the final stuff, food items. So this is going to sound very weird, but I always carry an orange. That's the reason for this is right, because sometimes I feel peckish and I want to be healthy. And the best thing to eat will be a fruit. But I can't carry all kinds of fruit because, you know, most of them... You eat, the <laughs> you eat the external parts as well. But with a little orange, you can peel it. So therefore it doesn't matter what is around it, how polluted it is in my bag with everything else. Um, so then I can just use that. Um, so that's why I always carry one. I mean, I always have like a big bowl of oranges at home. So I always just grab one and put it in there. Um, and this has led to some mishaps, <laughs> not gonna lie. So one time it got poked by my keys, I think. And yeah, then it just bled into things, but it's okay, it's not too bad. So I have an orange, and then when I don't wanna be healthy, I also have these like tiny chocolates. So I have a little Toblerone, which I think I got with a coffee in one of the coffee shops. And then I just collect these to put into my bag. And I have a little pack of, what is this one? Classic mix of nuts. Um, so this used to be when I used to go to work. Um, so then whenever I at work, we get these. And then I was like, oh, that's such a good idea. It's such a little bag. It's got like the right amount of things that you need when you're having a little, you know, you're feeling a little bit peckish for something salty. So I keep these in my bag as well. Then I have a hand cream. So this is a little bit massive for the bag, um, but it is the smallest I could find. So sometimes this stays at home, especially if like, if there's anything else that needs to go into the bag, then this has to stay at home. But I try to remember to bring my hand cream because again, dry climate, skin gets really dry and I hate dry skin and the texture, it makes me ill. But Aveeno, classic Aveeno in there. And then of course I need my keys. And of course, the final thing are my house keys. Um, so I have a very random keychain to it. It's just like this fluffy thing. I think I got it from H&M. But I've been looking for a solid keychain. So I've never bought a keychain for myself in my whole life. And I was like, hmm, I don't want to buy one now. I want someone to buy it for me. But I think like, do you guys have any suggestions? How do you approach this whole like keychain situation? Because I kind of want something that will remind me about something unique about me or just makes me feel like home. It's a weird thing, right? But like for your keychain, it just needs to be something personal. I don't know why I'm asking, but how do you approach the keychain situation? How do you choose one? And if you're a friend of mine, then buy me a keychain. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's the keychain. So I think that's pretty much it. The bag is empty now. Oops. Completely empty. Um, but yeah, so this is what's in my bag. As you can see, there are different aspects to it. There's um, sanitization bit, there's food, um, there's kind of like skincare, there's entertainment, there's uh, practical stuff. There's a little bit of fashion with my beautiful sunglasses. Uh, but yeah, so I do think that someone's bag is really representative of what they care about, right? Because these are the things that you carry around with you everywhere. Um, but this is a compact version of that. Um, I don't know if that was entertaining or useful in any way, but I hope you liked it. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.